Hello, my name is David Malin, and I'm the instructor for Computer Science E1, Understanding Computers and the Internet at Harvard University's Extension School. You're watching one of our videos of the week. For more such videos or information about this course, visit us on the web at computerscience1.org. Enjoy the show. Hello, I'm Dan Armendaris, a TF for Computer Science E1. You're watching one of our videos of the week. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about safe computing. But I have a question for you first. Do you have a backup of your data? If something happened to your machine right now, would you be able to recover? If you got a virus, or maybe that Coke you're enjoying right now spills all over your keyboard and you ruin everything, would you be able to get all of your data back? If not, I highly recommend a backup of at least your most important stuff. That way, if something bad were to happen, you would not feel as bad as if you had lost everything. Any tax documents, important Word documents, photos, your music, for example, all of these things are examples of stuff that you might want to store elsewhere. There are a number of threats that exist that could be harmful to your computer and that could make you lose some data. I mentioned viruses. Malware in general is a pretty bad thing. Viruses, worms, trojans, there's a lot of stuff. I recommend having a, a virus scanner for your machine, especially if it's a Windows PC. This way, you can at least tell if you have a virus. I also recommend a firewall to prevent worms from attacking your machine. In fact, a couple years ago, I believe we were hit with what was called the blaster worm. This literally incapacitated numerous computers, and the only way to get rid of it was to completely erase everything and reinstall Windows. Now, the funny thing was, after about 15 seconds of being online, you were hit with it again. So people, though, that enabled their firewalls were then able to get right back up and running. Other people, however, had to reinstall Windows several times before they learned that they should enable their firewall before connecting their computer to the internet. So what about other things, such as spyware? Well, it's possible that if you are on a public machine, that there is what's called a keystroke logger. So everything that you're typing is logged somewhere. So let's say you go to your bank's website, enter in your account information, and view your information on a public computer. Now it's possible, not necessarily likely, but certainly possible that this computer could have a keystroke logger installed. This would record all of your account information that you entered and would send it to a central location. Now I'm sure all of you have gotten emails from a bank that you've never heard of or a bank that you don't have an account with asking you for your account information. This is called a phishing attack. We have another video of the week on it and I recommend that you watch it. But this is another type of attack that you have to defend yourself against. There are some common sense tips that you can follow in order to protect yourself from attacks on the internet. Whenever you download something, be sure you know what it is. Be sure that you trust the source that it's coming from. Be sure to have recent backups of all of your data just in case something does happen. In addition to backups, I recommend running antivirus software frequently to make sure that your computer is clean of any viruses. I also recommend a firewall so that you can protect your computer from worms and other malicious attacks on the internet. And lastly, I recommend not using Windows. Slightly tongue in cheek perhaps, but other operating systems aren't necessarily hit as hard as Windows users are. For example, viruses, worms, Trojans, all of these things aren't as prevalent on the Mac OS and on Linux as they are on Windows. Well, this has been a video of the week. My name is Dan Armandaris. Thank you very much for watching. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about safe computing. Do you have a backup? Wait, what? didn't I just do this? Talking about backups? Creating a boot disk, I think, where I started talking about meteors and stuff? <laughs> Something like yeah, that? Yeah, that was one. Okay. <laughs> I was... <laughs> <laughs> what would you do? 
if right now a meteor came through and destroyed your machine, would you be able to reconstruct your... Also, like I said before, I recommend the firewall to protect yourself against... ominous stuff on the internet. To protect yourself against worms and... anything else like that. I also recommend a firewall so that you can protect yourself against worms and the like. Uh, um, uh, nah, nah. Running out of time. I also recommend a firewall. This way you can protect your computer from... I'm just going to recommend a firewall and not say why. So take my advice. Take your computer and bury it outside and never use it again. You'll be safe from everything then. Well, this has been a video of the week. My name is Dan Armandaris. Thank you very much for watching.